Hello YouTube, my name is Cheyenne, and about four months ago, I made a video reviewing Windows 7, and a lot of comments posted on the video were about where I got my desktop background, and how I got my clock, and how I got these cool features, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to, and it's basically a tutorial on how to use a program called Rain Meter, which is the program I've used. Now, as you can see on my desktop right now, I'm currently using a different setup than I have in the video, and in my opinion, it looks way more way cooler. And how I made this is by using Rain Meter and a cool feature that you could use in Windows 7 or Vista. Uh, the the feature that I use for um, making my icons really big are features you could only use in Windows 7 or Vista, not in XP and I recall not in Linux either. Uh, what you have to do is you just click down on your desktop and when you're clicking down with your left click hold down control and scroll your wheel up and down. I'll do that right now. So as you can see you can make the icons bigger and smaller. Now, over here I have my clock that I already have on my previous video on Windows 7. And I have my launcher here. And I have my recycling bin indicator that tells me how much garbage I have in it. And I have my hard drive indicator which tells me how much memory I have left. And then I have another launcher over here. And with regards to the desktop background I have, I got from www.imageflash.com.ar I'm not, I'm not quite sure about that, I'll post a link in the sidebar so you can check that out. Now, to get Rain Meter, all you have to do is open your browser and go to www.rainmeter.net this site. There you go. And brings you to this lovely web web page. And what you want to do is you want to get the installer version, which is over here. And it's Rain Meter 1.1. There's an option for 1.2 right now, but that's the beta, and I wouldn't go with it at the moment. So this this tutorial is going to be on 1.1. You have an option to pick the 32-bit one and the 64-bit one. This all depends on which operating system you have, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit, so I'd choose the 64-bit one. Select 64-bit, save it. it, depends on what browser you're using. It's down here in the bottom for Google Chrome. So wait for it to download, open it up, complete the installer. When you're done installing it, just close this, and just you'll have a program open, or you have to open it. And when you open it, this icon in the bottom right of your taskbar will be shown. It's called Rain Meter. Just double click on it. This is the Enigma thing. The, this, these are the default tools you can choose. Like, when you click on this, it'll spawn at the top left. Or top right in this case. And you can basically drag it anywhere you want to. When you could like let's say I want my clock right in the middle over here. I if I want to set it there, as you can see whenever I put my mouse click on it and drag it, it'll move. If you don't want that to be done, just right click on it, go to skin menu, and then you could uh untick draggable, which will make it not draggable. You could snap to edges, which will make it like when you when you're close to an edge it'll just stay there. Or you can make click through, that means if you click on it nothing will happen. Now, when I was new to Rain Meter and I set it on click through, I started to panic because I didn't. You, when you right click on it, nothing happens. So, um, what you have to do is let's do click through over here. After you've done that, right click on the Rain Meter icon, and your whatever you're running, whatever uh, skin you have, these all the all the tools are called skins. Just go to that one, and then close skin. 
I'm too. F uh, yeah, I think this is the one. Close it. All right, I just closed one of my good clocks. So, whatever, you get the point. So that's that's what you have to do for closing skins, making them draggable and making them see through, click through. I'm gonna close Enigma right now. And if you want, if you want better skins, if you want to get skins that are not default, what you have to do is you have to go to www on your browser dot customize dot org. All right, so I went to browse in the arrow and I clicked on rain meter which brings you to here and these are the most popular rain meter skins over here and there's HUD vision v version 2.2 .2. it's really popular it's like 10 foot HUD which is uh, a huge clock in like big bold white text and it's pretty cool so let's check this one out so these th the guy who uploaded it this is his desktop this is what it'll look like if you get it so if you want to just download it, download file, and just download it, it'll all go through really easy. After you've done that, most likely your rain meter download folder will be in your documents. Just go to my docs. And rain meter should be somewhere here, like that. And it'll be in skins. If not, just drag it to skins. Select anything you want and whichever the name is just click on it and click on that so this is my rain meter tutorial if you have any questions just post it on the video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible bye